All right, everybody, we are in the kitchen today with Jonathan John from Neo Kitchen and Bar and My Pie Custom Pizza, along with Culinary Institute of Virginia student Uniqua Viney. She's the winner of the Paragon Theater Culinary Competition. And you guys are here to make some award winning dishes. So, why don't you tell me, what are we going to be cooking up today? Absolutely. Well, we're cooking uh, two dishes. One is the uh, blackened mahi with uh, shrimp that we serve on our uh, everyday menu, and another is a item that we're going to be adding to the menu in the fall, which is a, bro a, a Brussels sprout gratin, which was actually an award-winning recipe from the Culinary Institute from one of their students that is unfortunately not able to be with us today. But Unique was going to fill in and get everything taken care of for us. All right, Unique. So how are, how are you feeling about cooking this up? Feeling Brussels really good. sprouts. I think that's something we always hear about, and people are unsure if it's something they want to eat. Yes, but I love Brussels sprouts, and this is a great dish. So, <laughs> and so we're going to cook it up, and then what was the other one? The, the, the shrimp? The blackened mahi with a Cajun shrimp. Oh, wow, that sounds good. So we're going to get cooking in just a minute. I see you've got everything chopped up. We've got some apples. We're firing up the stove, so we will get to that in just a moment. <laughs> Good Tuesday morning, everyone. We're back in the kitchen now with Jonathan John from Neo Kitchen and Bar and My Pie Custom Pizza. And I also have Culinary Institute of Virginia student Uniqua Viney. And we are blanching the Brussels sprouts. And why are we doing that? To get them cooked a little bit. And then after they cook about two minutes, we're going to put them in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Okay. And I saw you were chopping up some onions. So tell me, what is the process of making this Brussels sprout gratin? Well, first, I'm going to saute the onions, the bacon, and the apples together. Mm -hmm. And then take those out of the pan. I'm going to add the heavy cream and blue cheese. Okay, so and let me move out of the way so you okay. can get started. So this gratin, when, what is that a good, when is a good time to have it? It's um, a good seasonal dish. Yeah. It's uh, something that's a little more warm and homey, something mm -hmm. that you want to have more in the fall and winter season. So it's mm -hmm. a great complement to um, fish, pork, uh, chicken, right. uh, any type of white or, or lighter meat. That'll kind of just accentuate what you're. Uh, and you have some interesting cooking. flavors. So you have the bacon, you have the Brussels sprouts, you're gonna add some onions, and then the apples as well. Absolutely. Yes. And I know, like I was mentioning earlier, Brussels sprouts is one of those vegetables that people may be a little bit hesitant, might not be the top on their list. Right. But it's, it's really healthy for you. Uh, Brussels sprouts <laughs> seem to be making a, a, a little bit of a push back into the mainstream mm -hmm. where uh, people are making a lot of different unique dishes, um, everything from. Uh, Scorch Brussels sprouts with uh, different just seasonings sprinkled on top to casseroles, um, like the one we're making today that won the awards. Mm -hmm. And if you were talking about Brussels sprouts, um, what, what can you compare that to the taste of for someone that you know uh, really hasn't gone there? Well, it's kind of like a light cabbage. Mm -hmm. uh, without, it looks like a little cabbage. Without uh, committing to <laughs> the full flavor of a cabbage. Um, it's um, milder in flavor. Mm -hmm. um, has a, a, a medium texture. It's mm -hmm. not too coarse. All right, so we've got um, the bacon cooking. Um, now, this is an award-winning dish. So what, what do you think made this dish the standout winner above the rest? Well, you can um, modify it in, in multiple ways. Uh, one of the ways that the student that won this award modified the dish is he added a spice called garam um, masala, which mm -hmm. is a Native American spice with mm -hmm. a mixture of, of other spices. It kind of gives it a sweet, smoky texture. Uh -huh. um, you can make it with or without the spice to uh, create different flavors and depending on how you adjust those spices will uh, definitely change the way the, the dish turns out. Right and this is something you were saying they're going to be adding to the menu? Absolutely. All right so if someone wants to eventually try this tell me about the menu you guys have there. Well right now we have more of a summer menu. Mm -hmm. uh, every, uh, lighter fare, um, sandwiches, crab cakes, uh, the black and mahi with shrimp that we're going to be cooking later and of course in the fall we're going to tr uh, transition to um, a more seasonal menu with uh, some heavier uh, mm -hmm. options. And this, and this is going to be one of the options. Absolutely. So what are we doing right now? So we're letting the bacon Same. cook. How long do you? Just saute the bacon until okay. it's a, a nice golden brown. It's going to be a garnish towards the end. Mm -hmm. Plus there's going to be a, a, a small portion of bacon smell in the that dish bacon. as well. <laughs> that bacon smelling really nice right now. And, and then the next thing that we're going to do after we saute the bacon, then we'll be adding some of these other flavors here? Absolutely. Okay. And once we combine everything, we uh, bake it in the oven for a few minutes, and when it comes out, it's ready to eat. Okay, and tell me a little bit more about this competition where this is the award-winning dish. Tell me about how that competition works. When Paragon uh, came to um, the Tadwar area, they wanted to make a connection with the community, mm -hmm. and they also wanted to um, you know, kind of give back to the community for, for allowing us to come in as a company mm -hmm. and uh, in the city center complex of the Culinary Institute of Virginia. So they, uh, Paragon provided uh, a different arrangement of scholarships to uh, Culinary Institute 
uh, in return for uh, competition for different unique dishes. Oh, interesting. And this dish is the one that uh, ultimately won the first place. Were you one of the judges? Show. Unfortunately, I was not. <laughs> I was not there. What type of, what was the range of dishes that some of the students came up with? It was everything from um, some unique twists on mac and cheese, uh, some uh, some uh, broccoli dishes, and obviously Brussels sprouts. So everybody mm -hmm. had their own creative twist on items that traditionally aren't uh, thought of as being too desirable, but they found a way to make them all desirable. And I was actually going to say, I wouldn't necessarily think about going to Paragon Theater to have a Brussels sprouts dish. Uh, <laughs> most people find it uh, very pleasing that when they come in, they can have not only um, a good um, movie experience, mm -hmm. but also a, a fantastic dining experience before they ever go in. So there's really no need to go anywhere else. And what makes that different? There. Because you can have that, like you said, that dining experience with a movie. Is that, that's like kind of like a new thing, something for a perfect date night? It, it, it is. You can have the dinner before you go in, like you would at any other restaurant, mm -hmm. or you can um, take the entrees that you pick into the theater and, and enjoy them while you're watching the movie as well. Wow, that so sounds really good. it's the best good. of both worlds. And you said a little later on, as this is cooking, a little bit later on, what are we going to be making? Uh, the blackened mahi with shrimp, which is one of our uh, feature items on the menu. It's actually one of our top three sellers. Okay. And it's, a, it's a fantastic dish that's going to go well with the Brussels sprout rind. Okay, so again, we're letting the Brussels sprout blanch, then we're going to be taking them out and putting them on ice? Yes. Okay. All right, so we will get back to you guys in a little while. We'll see Thank how you. that turns out, and then we'll get started on our shrimp and fish. Absolutely. All right, sounds good, guys. Thank you. Ooh, we are getting things cooking in the kitchen. We're back with Jonathan John. He's from Neo Kitchen and Bar and My Pie Custom Pizza. And we're also joined by Culinary Institute of Virginia student Unique Waviney. They have been cooking up some Brussels sprouts. It's a gratin. It's an award-winning uh, dish. So where are we at with the gratin? We're not blanching anymore. No, it is actually in the oven. Okay. So we put it in the oven. We had to put them on ice, right? Yes. Okay, and then we're going to put that together. And we've also gotten started on our fish and shrimp. So tell me about that dish. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, it's a black and mahi with um, black and shrimp served on with a side of blue cheese mm -hmm. coleslaw. And on top of the mahi, we have Alfredo sauce. Oh, wow. It's, it's more of a heavy cream sauce than an Alfredo sauce, but mm -hmm. it's the It looks same. very rich. Absolutely. Adds <laughs> a different body to the, to the dish. Tell me about some of the spices and things that you used uh, on, on the mahi. Oh, the mahi is uh, just, it's a center cut mahi, mm -hmm. and they, uh, we use a traditional blackening spice, mm -hmm. cook it in heavy butter mm -hmm. until it's 90% um, done, and it'll finish the cooking process on the plate. We top it off with a Cajun shrimp, and then uh, do an in-house uh, heavy cream sauce mm -hmm. with a... And we've got the side of coleslaw there. It's actually a blue cheese coleslaw. Oh, blue cheese coleslaw. So it's, it's kind of a play on the black and blue. Mm, okay. Uh, style seafood dishes of the past. Okay, and when we're talking about this mahi, you said 90%, done. so how do you know when your fish is good to go? Um, well, uh, in the restaurant we always um, use the proper tools. Uh, we use thermometers, mm -hmm. make sure that everything's gauged properly so that it's safe for the guest and, and uh, not overcooked as well. Right, so this would be like a perfect date night opportunity, right? Absolutely. You can go to the theater, Come a little bit early before your movie starts, and you can get your mahi with shrimp, and then the Brussels sprout gratin. And then again, that was an award winning from a competition because you guys are new to the area. We are. Uh, Paragon is a, a fairly a new theater company. It's been around for a few years. However, they wanted to go into a different direction, and they even wanted to go into a different direction than the, the average uh, dining in a movie w while you watch the movie uh, genre, mm -hmm. where you can actually come in and dine and then go and enjoy all the aspects of the movie as well. Mm -hmm. um, their theaters have everything from reclining seats, and you can pick your seats, mm -hmm. to a full service restaurant where you can sit down and eat before you go to the movie, or if you decide to take it in, you can do that as well. Okay, and tell me about this. It's in Newport News. Where are you guys located? Right in the middle of the city, in City Center, uh, right there on the corner of uh, Mariner's Row and uh, Fountain Way. Mm -hmm. And if no one's ever had this movie dinner experience, how does it all work? How early should you get there? Do you need reservations? I would recommend if you wanted to dine um, in the restaurant to come approximately an hour early. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy your tickets uh, once you get there, pick your seats, so that way you know where your seats are going to be. You can come to the restaurant and have a full dining experience and never be rushed. We do have a full service bar uh, with 18 craft beer taps, nice. uh, as well as uh, the full kitchen. And so why do you think that this combination of dining and movies works? Uh, it, it, in 
today's market, you really want to maximize your time. Mm -hmm. So instead of someone going to a restaurant, waiting, getting something to eat, and then driving across the city to go to the, the local theater, you can mm -hmm. do both. And being most of our dishes are uh, made in-house uh, to order from scratch, uh, it, it, you're not losing any of the quality of the normal dining experience by coming t to our theater. Okay, and going back to this competition, so you did the competition with some of the culinary students that are located in that same area. How yes. did it feel to compete in this? Um, well, I personally, I didn't actually do the competition. Oh, okay. Yes. But you learned about some of the dishes that they were making there. Right. And um, what do you think about that opportunity, though? It, was, it would have been a good opportunity. I wish I would have been able mm -hmm. to be a part of it. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Monique was actually a, a student that's graduating in June. Okay. So she wasn't um, part of the competition because of her status at school. Okay. However, uh, the students were ecstatic. It gave them a chance to kind of showcase what they'd already learned mm -hmm. and, and actually uh, showcase what uh, being in this industry is all about, taking uh, the same old, same old products and, and turning them into uh, unique combinations to create unique flavors because right. that's what everybody looks for when they go out is something that's new, good, and exciting. And as we, let's revisit the Brussels sprout gratin. That was the award-winning dish. Um, are we ready to put it all together now or we um, need to let it sit? We're about two minutes away. Yeah. We're about, oh, we, so... And we're waiting for it to, oh, it's in the oven. So what it did is. we do? We, we were blanching the Brussels sprouts last time we saw it. So then what did you do? You drained it. Drained the Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. mixed the Brussels sprouts with the heavy cream, the blue cheese, the onions, bacon, and apples. Mm -hmm. And we put it in the ramekins, and it's in the oven baking. Okay, so it's baking at what temperature? Baking at 550 degrees Oh, my goodness, minutes. real hot. And so we leave it in there. How long does it need to go in there? Approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and then pull it out, and we'll have a whole meal. All right, so we will check in with you guys again. If you want to check out Paragon Theater 12 at City Center Oyster Point, you can go to paragontheaters.com. Neo Kitchen and Bar, My Pie Custom Pizza, the Culinary Institute of Virginia. There's two locations, Norfolk and Newport News. You can also visit chefva.com. But, you know, good experience. Go enjoy dinner and a movie.